How you doing? I'm all right. Not much. How are you doing? Taking pictures. Why? Uh, I'm just taking pictures out in public, that's all. Huh? Just taking pictures out in public. Just happens to be of all the police cars coming and going to the station. Yep. Just taking pictures out in public. Just gathering information what public officials do on public property. That's gathering all. information about what public officials do on public property. Yes, sir. Have nothing better to do with your day. It's none of your business what I do with my day. Now is it? Sorry? So it's none of your business what I do in my day now, is it? It is when you start doing stuff like this. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Open up! Police! Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. Today we're going to take a look at the Orlando, Florida Police Department. This is a bit of an older video, but no matter the age on the video, we can always use them for educational purposes to help citizens continue to learn their rights so that their rights are never violated. There are so many rights violations in this video that I can't point them all out. So if you see some, please put them down in the comment section. The auditor in this video does a great job educating us, so I don't have to say too much throughout this video. But I do want you to pay attention to the facial expressions of these cops. Watch how they're thinking and searching on this fishing expedition. They're trying to find something to pin on this auditor. This, my friends, is policing at its worst. Let's take a look at this video. Yeah, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Yeah. Well, it could be construed as maybe gathering intel on a public or a governmental agency for mm -hmm. purposes of an attack or something like that. I don't know. That's right. You don't know. Tell me. I'm standing on a public sidewalk taking pictures. What about it? Right. It's a public sidewalk. Exactly that. You need to keep walking. <laughs> I'm not blocking the sidewalk. It's a public sidewalk. Are you, are you telling me I can't stand on a public sidewalk? You got these guys standing on a public sidewalk? Well, just because I'm taking pictures, you're going to tell me to move along? Is that is that what you're telling me? Are you trespassing me from a public sidewalk? No, I'm not trespassing you from a public sidewalk. So if you're on a public sidewalk, you have to be continuously in motion. Is there a statute that says that you have to be... The city ordinance says you can't block the sidewalk. Yeah. I'm not blocking the sidewalk. You can see people can clearly move past. Look, I'm out in public taking photographs. And beyond that, it's none of your business what I'm doing. Did you say it's none of our business? Yeah. yeah. I so, we can, so we can resolve this really quickly. Do you have any kind of ID or anything like that? We just want to make sure you're not, I, not your trial. Okay, thank you. I, I am, I'm not, I have no real will, no real intent. I'm just taking photographs. I'm, okay. I'm working on a story, and beyond that, I'd rather not tell you anything else because. Here's the thing. Do you just have some ID so that way I can let you I don't know. have any ID, no. Okay. So that way we can at least let them know who you are. Okay. That, if sir, I'm not being detained, you guys have a nice day. Sir, come here. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Right now, come here. For what reason? Come here. I don't Stop. consent to, sir. I don't I'm consent. Making sure you don't have any weapons, sir. That's all. So I'm being detained for what reason? What's your name and badge number? Uh, Roman 14712. Okay. okay. So I'm being detained. Yes. Don't, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands uh, on just me. Just don't turn towards me. That's all. You already patted me down. You see I don't have any weapons. I told Do you. you. Have ID or anything like that? I'm standing on a public sidewalk in public taking photographs, gathering information about what public officials do on public property. Specifically, I'm recording matters of public interest. Is this illegal or not? Here's the thing. Is what I'm doing illegal? I see it explained. Okay. It can be construed. Is it illegal or not? Is standing in a public sidewalk illegal or not? Can if it's I not, I'm, 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 I'm going to be on gonna my way. If you're going to continue to be out here, at least we can let them know, hey, this is who we talked to. This is his name. Right. He's out here. Here's right. what he's doing. So if we keep getting calls about someone out here, we can already say, hey. Okay, go ahead and tell them that I'm out here. I'm a journalist gathering content okay. for a story. I just need your name. That's all I'm asking What's for. Hard about that? I just I, need because your name and your data. It's none of your business what my name is. I'm not doing anything illegal. Okay. If I don't give you my name, what's going to happen? I'm not refusing. Here's the thing. Just make it easy for all of us. We'll get your name. We're going to make sure you're not someone that's out here trying to kill us. And I'm not. Let you I'm go telling you that. What you're doing. Is it illegal to take pictures of you? Is it illegal? No, it's not. Okay, then let me be free to go. calls to come out here. This is how we resolve these issues. If right. you're going to be out here and you're going to continue to do this, we can already say, hey, listen, is it so-and-so? Is this what he's wearing? Yes, this is who we already talked to. Okay. We have his name. He's okay. But until right. we can clear and say, hey, that you're not someone out here trying to hurt us. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I'm trying to hurt you? I'm not trying to hurt you guys. I don't know who you are. So I'm working. I know who you okay. are and know that you're not someone that's got a long history of shooting at cops or shooting at people and carrying guns, we don't know who you are. Look, 
I'm standing on a public sidewalk just like everybody else out here is, but I'm just taking photographs of you guys because I'm working on a story. I'm a journalist, I'm working on a story, and beyond that, I don't feel like I need to give you any, any identification. But I, I mean, I'm not refusing. You've already said I'm being detained for nothing illegal. I'm just asking you for your name. Let's hurry up and get this taken care of. I just need your name. Or am I free to go? You have I'm, to ask him. Am I free to go? If I'm free to go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to disengage this. I don't want to be arrested. I'm not doing anything illegal. What journalist were you a journalist for? See, that's the thing. It's an investigative story. I don't want to tip my hand who I work for or who I am. But see, you have to understand that this is suspicious to us. If you don't... That's suspicious thing. to you guys, but it's... I'm not going to go run and say, hey, you know, so-and-so from so-and-so is out here, and he is, uh, you know, doing this and that. You know, we have to make sure that we and other people out here are safe, too. I understand. So let everybody know that I'm just taking pictures out in public. Okay. And I, I have no real will. So I can let them know that you're out here so that we don't have to keep coming out here for this constant problem. Well, just, uh, if I'm not, I'm, he's already said I'm not doing anything illegal. You guys say it's suspicious activity, but what I'm doing is just, when you, you know, say it's, a journalist, it, it's, you it's a constitutionally journalist? protected activity. Listen, it's first amendment when you say a journalist, are you for a newspaper, a news agency? Yes. Okay. Yes. You said yes to both. Are you a journalist for like a newspaper or a news agency? A news, news agency. Okay. Is it local or federal? It's, uh, it's or out of Miami. Out of Miami? Yes. Okay. They told you to come up here and do a story on the Orlando Police Department. It's out of Miami. Okay. You, you understand that. Here's the thing. I understand that what I'm doing is constitutionally listen, protected activity. Listen. Okay. But there's also things called loitering, prowling, things of that nature that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, We're trying to figure out if you're here to either harm us or other people. If you're out here to do something that's constantly true. <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. That's all right. Okay, if you're out here doing something that's constitutionally protected, okay, that's fine. And I, along with everyone else here, have no desire to interfere with that. Okay. But until we actually can say yes, that this is someone that's out here doing something constitutionally protected, that's why. So let me first say this. As a police officer, I cannot detain a citizen until I find out that which he's doing is constitutionally protected. I can only detain a citizen when I find out what he's doing is not constitutionally protected and it's indeed against the law. Secondly, police officers always go to the same old thing, loitering, disorderly conduct, or suspicion. Well, in this case, he used loitering. So let's read the Florida state law on loitering. Let's check this out. Loitering and prowling. It is unlawful for any person to loiter or prowl in a place at a time or in a manner not usual for law-abiding individuals under circumstances that warrant justifiable and reasonable alarm or immediate concern for the safety of persons or property in the vicinity. So as we know, this was the middle of the day, a public place, a public sidewalk to be exact. So therefore, that does not fit the definition. Secondly, secondly, a citizen exercising his or her rights is not a reason for alarm. This was not loitering. Well, let's let's cut to the chase. If if I don't give you my name, what will happen? We will continue from that point there. Will you arrest me if I don't give you my name? You've I'm already you guys any of those questions right now. I'm just asking you for your name. All right. You have to understand what you're doing is considered suspicious. Taking pictures of law enforcement officers, the facility that we work at, being in the time and place where we are. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Normal people don't do things like that. If you're doing a story, I'm a journalist. I'm not a normal person. Okay, I understand that, but that's how we confirm that who you are, and then we let people know. Hey, if this person calls or someone's calling, telling us this and that. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's this person? Hey, I already checked out with him. It's so and so. He's working on a story. Okay. It's okay. We don't have to come back out. Am I, understand I, am I still being detained, or am I free to go? He's talking to you. I, I don't. I don't care. He's I want to be. If I'm free to go, I'm going to walk away. He's talking to you. I didn't ask you if he was talking to me. I know he's talking to me. I want to know if I'm free to go. I don't want to talk to him. I want to be free to go. I like to remain silent at this point. I'll tell you my name if you guys are going to arrest me. If you're not going to arrest me, I'm, I'm walking away. No. No. You, no. No. Mm -hmm. Let me let me ask let me ask you guys this. And you're trying to gather what looks like you're trying to gather intel mm -hmm. on stuff. Yeah, I'm gathering information about what you guys are doing. Okay. On public property. Okay. 
That's exactly what I'm doing. Going, that's not gathering any are you guys are you guys uh, required to wear seatbelts? Are we what? Required to wear seatbelts. We have a policy that says we are, yeah. Okay, that's all I want to know. I'd like to be free to go. I'm free? Yep, Alright, thank you. Ronald Lacentra of the Orlando Police Department. On January 31st, 2015, Officer Lacentra falsely arrested me for driving on a disqualified license. Officer Lacentra manufactured probable cause to make an invalid traffic stop and then lied on his official report of the arrest. From Officer Lacentra's narrative. On January 31st, 2015, at approximately 1121 hours, I, Officer Lacentra, ID number 18923, Conduct a traffic stop on a gray Dodge minivan bearing the Florida tag S152ME. I had run the tag prior to conducting the traffic stop and received a message on my mobile computer. The registered owner did not have a valid driver's license. The registered owner of the vehicle was Jeffrey Marcus Gray, a white male. The driver was a, of the vehicle was a white male. However, the documented truth contained on my video reveals that Lacentra did not call in my tag until after he had initiated the traffic stop. Listen closely. Officer Lacentra continues his lie by claiming that he initiated his traffic stop based on prior knowledge that my driver's license was not valid. From Officer Lacentra's narrative. I initiated a traffic stop based on my observations and knowledge that the registered owner did not have a valid driver's license, but the video clearly shows that Officer Lacentra claims he stopped me due to an obstructed tag. This is a traffic stop. Roll your window down all the way. What am I being stopped for? Your tag's obstructed, sir. Florida State statute requires that any portion of your tag cannot be obstructed. You see my hands. Okay. Keep your hands there. This is a traffic me. stop. Roll your window down all the way. What am I being stopped for? Your tag's obstructed, sir. Florida State statute requires that any portion of your tag cannot be obstructed. You see my hands. Okay. Keep your hands there for me, okay? So Officer Lacentra just claimed that Florida statutes requires that any portion of your tag cannot be obstructed. Well, let's have a look and see what the statute actually says. Florida Statute 316.605, Licenses of Vehicles, 1. All letters, numerals, printing, writing, and other identification marks upon the plates regarding the word Florida, the registration decal, and the alphanumeric designation shall be clear and distinct from, and free from defacement, mutilation, grease, and other obscuring matter so that they will be plainly visible and legible at all times, 100 feet from the rear or front. Now let's have a look at a picture of my license plate taken on the day of my arrest. The word Florida, the registration decal, and the alphanumeric designation are all clear and distinct and free from defacement. You can hop out of the car real quick for me, sir. Okay. Can you take my seatbelt off? Huh? Can you take my seatbelt off? Go ahead, take your seatbelt off. Let me do. Sorry, I'll put the answer in Okay. Now Officer Lacentra is arresting me for a suspended license, even though my license is only in fact disqualified. Despite my efforts to explain to Lacentra that a disqualified license only means that I am no longer qualified to drive a tractor trailer and I am still able to drive my personal vehicle, Lacentra still arrested me and took me to the Orange County Jail where I would spend 12 hours behind bars. On Monday morning, I visited the DMV in St. Augustine to verify that my license is in fact valid and not suspended. Pay close attention, Officer Lacentra. But your driving license is not under suspension. It's the DO, I mean, the CDL portion is disqualified. Okay. Um, and I just went over there to see if there was something that we can give you saying that the license was not under suspension okay. um, because the driving privileges were not. Um, and that's when I went to Brenda and she said Mrs. Hill was working on trying to get something together so we can help 
individuals you. like Thank you, you to get that done. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a copy of your driver license. I want you to okay. write down your telephone number. Okay. It's the best number to give you a call. And Mrs. Hill's not in today. And um, we'll, she's trying to get this set, um, trying to get this settled. And I cannot find the email that she sent out to everybody, but Brenda has it and she's going to be forwarding it to me. Okay. Um, so I'm if you could explain it, I, I'm, and I'm not trying to be a pain, I'm just explain it to me like, a, like I'm a two-year-old. Like, like you're a two-year-old. <laughs> you can't drive big trucks. Okay. Only, only your passenger vehicle. So, is Officer LeCentre a good cop protecting and serving the public from dangerous criminals? Or is he a liar who manufactures probable cause in order to put an innocent man in jail because that man committed the non-criminal offense known as contempt of cop? Please give the Orlando Police Department a call and let them know how you feel about Officer LeCentre's actions. The link to the full video is down below. This is what tyranny looks like in America. Don't let your rights be violated. Kudos to the citizen. He actually knew his rights. Although he dealt with tyrants who violated his rights, hopefully a lawsuit was filed, complaints were filed, and these cops were dealt with by having their badge removed. Make sure you know your rights. Don't let your rights be violated. Make sure you download my free ebook. It's going to teach you what you can and can't do and what the cops can and can't do when you encounter them. Make sure you know your rights. With that being said, we the People University, signing off.